Hi, this is Glenn with Crimson Lotus Tea. Uh, we're gonna do a tour today of a modern Pu'er tea pressing factory. This is where uh, all the loose leaf gets made into uh, the bricks and cakes and all the different shapes that you're familiar with. Um, this is a pretty cool facility. I really like it a lot. Uh, it's very peaceful. It's out in the woods. It's, uh, it's got a really nice environment, a lot of nice air. Uh, they got some good water that they use for the pressing and stuff too. So uh, I'm gonna take you through the factory and show you uh, all the different steps and stages that it takes to uh, uh, turn a loose leaf into, uh, into a cake of pu'er. Step one of every pu'er tea factory is the, uh, the receiving bay. So this is where a car can pull up and all of the tea is uh, pulled out and uh, it, it'll be weighed. It'll be weighed on a giant scale. And um, everything is, uh, is logged completely. Um, so every single step that you want done is uh, uh, tracked and cataloged. Um, then it's all organized, and then you wait for your uh, you wait for your time into the slot and stuff. And so there's a bunch of different uh, boxes. And these ones are all have all been um, have been processed already, and they're waiting to be uh, they're waiting to be turned into cakes. Um, somebody here was uh, looks like they were doing some uh, some little rosebud stuff. Uh, you see that real around uh, around you not a lot. It's pretty uh, it's pretty popular. A lot of factories have a decent amount of, uh, of storage space, so they can they can handle a bunch of people sending in a bunch of different orders. Um, things can be uh, stored here for a, a decent amount of time. Um, a lot of stuff is stored in uh, stored in loose bags as well. You see that uh, you see that um, you see that often. So we're going to go and look through the rest of the factory. Um, it is going to be uh, it's going to be a little loud, so we're going to see how that uh, see how that turns out in the video. It is a, it is an industrial facility, and so there's a lot of big fans and stuff. Uh, it gets pretty hot, so we're going to see how uh, how well the audio works with that. This is a pretty cool machine. Um, so this type of machine would be used for um, processing um, tea that might be a little bit dirty. So the tea gets put into, uh, put into this end and it moves up through these uh, five blue rollers. And these are actually uh, uh, produce static electricity and the static electricity actually pulls pulls the dirt and dust uh, off of the leaf and then um, it works its way down and um, you can uh, actually do some uh, some grading of the at the end into different piles a machine like this is pretty uh, pretty cool we haven't uh, we haven't used one before but it's fun to see uh, it's fun to see them in action so a floor like this in a room like this it's got a really nice uh, really nice tile down this is where this is where shopur is going to be put um, shopur needs to be wet before it can actually be steamed so they'll, they'll clean the floor and they'll put the show pour down and then they'll wet the show pour and then it sits in a room like this overnight and um, then it'll be ready for, uh, for, for uh, steaming into cakes the next day. So this is how, uh, this is how Dragon Balls are actually made. Um, Dragon Balls are made um, using these, uh, these, these tiny cotton bags. It's, um, they'll use about, uh, about eight grams of material. The material will be steamed in this machine and it gets pressed into these tiny cotton bags where uh, a second person actually takes and like uh, uh, rolls it into the uh, rolls it into the shape that's needed. Um, so this woman is measuring out each of what's needed and then it gets taken over to the, the left side and pressed into the uh, 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 steamed and then pressed into the ball. Um, you really want to see people using cotton bags with this. Um, the ones that uh, some people wrap it in saran wrap, but that's not really what you want. After it's had a chance to dry, then it gets uh, uh, it gets pulled out like uh, pulled out here. are uh, temporarily stored uh, while they're getting done. Uh, you can actually see there's some of our cakes here. This is our uh, uh, Moon Princess, our, uh, uh, one of our fall, fall teas, which is uh, super awesome. It just got finished pressing. They're pressing somebody else's uh, um, material here. And um, so you'll see there's a giant pile of, uh, of Mao Cha. It's loose and it gets, uh, it gets weighed and it gets stuck into these, uh, the, these steaming stacks right here. And that's actually what um, what loosens the material up enough so that it can be um, uh, put into the, uh, the the burlap sacks, not burlap sacks, but little, like little cotton bags. It gets rolled down, and then in this case, uh, it gets pushed into a uh, into a hydraulic press, which gives the uh, gives the basic shape. And once it has the basic shape, then it, it sits under a, a stone for about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, kind of does like a, a mix of hydraulic compression and stone compression. 
Uh, a machine like this, this hydraulic compression, you can set it at whatever you want. You can have it pressed to iron cake or you can have it pressed to, to stone pressing level. So there's a lot of customization, customizability. You can set it to whatever you want based on uh, uh, what the customer is asking for, what they're looking for in their cakes. This is really loud in here. So this is a this is a, a set of show pour, an order of show pour, and this is the this is their uh, their natural drying room. So it's not hot, it's not humid, it's not uh, um, they're not putting any additional heat into it here. Um, so what they'll do is they can sometimes uh, uh, do a mixture of both. They'll uh, they'll 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 do a, a forced drying in the one room and then let it sit in here for a little bit, or they'll they'll dry it in this room first and then move it into the other one. Entirely uh, what the, uh, the the customer wants. This is definitely a fun stage. This is the uh, this is the the cake wrapping stage. Uh, I always enjoy watching this. Uh, the people are very efficient. They move very quickly. Um, there's a giant stack that they've got to go through. So here they've got four people working on it. Uh, these cakes in particular are, are being double wrapped. So they were wrapped once with a, a single layer, and then they're being uh, the design layer is being put on the outside. That's kind of nice to see that on on, on, on some cakes. Um, it just gives a you know sometimes the poor paper. Uh, doesn't do great over time, so having it double wrapped is, is, is nice to see. Um, so they've got a giant stack of a uh, giant stack of stuff that they're working through here, but these people are quick and efficient, and really won't take them that much time at all. This is another stage that I really enjoy seeing um, to see what it takes to uh, actually wrap the uh, five or seven cakes into uh, a stack, uh, bamboo wrapped stack. It's called a tongue. Um, it's it's almost it's almost an art. Um, you take the bamboo wrappers or the bamboo skin, and it's got to be uh, it's got to be steamed and soaked to make it really nice and really nice and pliable. Um, it's something that actually takes multiple. You have to use your hands and your feet to get everything get everything done. Um, you'll see uh, you see as this guy as this guy works, they got to find the right right size pieces. It's cut to shape. It's wrapped, and um, it's uh, it's fascinating to watch. This is the stage where uh, where the pieces get actually uh, tied up. So they use a, a bamboo bamboo uh, string to uh, to tie it up. It's not string. It's uh, it's been uh, it's been stripped from stripped from bamboo. So it kind of acts like a, acts like a cord. And when it dries, it keeps it really nice and uh, really nice and tight. That is pretty much uh, what a factory looks like. A two pressing factory. Um, it's uh, it's kind of hard to capture the uh, the aroma. In fact, it's actually impossible to capture the aroma. But uh, they smell fantastic. That's that steaming tea leaf material is just absolutely incredible. Um, the only thing that I didn't get to show was the uh, uh, stamping of the uh, uh, kind of like the brand on top of the uh, on top of the bamboo cake. That stuff uh, um, they just uh, don't, nobody's doing that today. So, um, but I will get a chance to do that. Maybe I can post it on Instagram um, later show something like that. I did it last year and show it again this year. It'd be kind of fun. Um, yeah, so this is it. This is what a, a modern uh, modern tea pressing factory looks like. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to uh, to see uh, your uh, material finally uh, coming into an actual uh, actual product. Um, so we've pressed a, a handful of our uh, material so far and uh, in a couple weeks hopefully we'll be able to uh, put it on the site, sell it, and uh, get it into your homes and teacups. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, like and subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming. Thanks.
山谷里的小。